I'm live. Awesome. Hey, what's up? Make sure you say hello if you're catching the replay or you're watching live right now. I can see your comments, so tell me what's up. Say hello. Um, this is our special series, two weeks of travel tweaks, and this is where I'm going to just be sharing some little travel tweaks that you can do to make your travels turn into real adventures. Because as you know, on the virtual campground, I like to keep it real. Traveling can be really, really <laughs> stressful. Um, if you don't know about it, read my book, Tales from the Black Tank. Um, shameless plug right there. Um, but anyway, yeah, it can be really stressful. Traveling is great. It looks amazing on Instagram. It can be just as amazing as it looks, but it also can be really sucky if you don't know what you're doing. And we traveled full time all of 2018 and I felt like, oh my word, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so we are just going to do like five minute videos every day for two weeks to just give you quick actionable tips. Um, hopefully some things you've never heard before um, from resources. I've been scouring the internet, um, picking up all sorts of new resources, meeting new people, meeting new travelers, checking out their courses, their products, things like that, to make sure I can bring it all to you in this series. Orvella, hey, check it out. You're on the screen now. Hello from Colorado Springs. Hey, my friend Lindsay and Dan um, from Follow Your Detour. Shout out from that to them. They are from Colorado Springs. Anyway, also, if you're catching the replay, don't forget to say, tell us where you're coming from. Again, we are doing day one, keeping it real cheap. How to make your trips low cost. Um, so if you're excited, put um, in the comments for me, hashtag excited, so I know just how excited you are about day one and this new series. All right, let's get started. So tip number one is be selective about seasons. Now this is a book that, am I pointing right? No, I have to point this way. This is a book that I just read um, called The Intentional Traveler's Guide to unconventional budget accommodation. And this was by Michelle Chang, who I actually met at the RV Entrepreneur Summit. She helped put that on. So I met her earlier this year, read her book. Um, it was more geared towards a lot of international travel, um, but I found one of the tips in the book was so great. Be selective about the season. This was amazing. Um, she talks about, I've got my notes guys, so I can keep this <laughs> rolling. She talks about um, a shoulder season. And a shoulder season is um, something it refers to kind of like a sweet spot of travel. You obviously don't want to go to Washington, D.C. on the 4th of July. That would just be insanity, right? So many crowds, so hot, it just wouldn't be fun. So the shoulder season is kind of that sweet spot where the weather is still nice, but the crowds are dwindling down. I'm from Destin, Florida. You've probably heard of it. If not, it's a really... Um, very popular destination in the Florida Panhandle. It's getting really, really big. But um, I suggest the shoulder season there would probably be around May. Um, the prices are a little lower since it's no longer spring break. And um, the weather is also warm. In March, it can be really rainy. Um, <laughs> but in May, it it's really nice weather. The crowds are gone because most of our stone school or back to school from spring break is a great um, shoulder season to go to. Also, um, October is a great time to visit there too. Um, she also talked about, oh, but one last thing that I want to say about um, season is you have to think about where people are traveling. Of course, if you're not a full-time RVer yet, you know, you don't have all this time in the world, you have to travel during spring break or the 4th of July just happened. Um, obviously, excuse me, during spring break, you know, everyone's gonna be headed to Miami, uh, San Diego, possibly Cancun. Those are not the places you wanna go to. Um, are there other bucket list options that you have that the weather might still be acceptable and prices still be low? Um, I thought of maybe go to Nashville or Atlanta um, instead of going to Miami or LA or Cancun. So that's my first tip. Um, tip two is slow down. This tip I got from Julie and, Chickory, Julie and Sean Chickory from Chickory's Travels. As you guys know, I'm huge fans of theirs. They are 
RV famous for paying off like $150,000 in debt, like living from their RV. And this is the number one tip I hear them give over and over. Slow down, you don't have to travel all the time. If you're really looking to save money, never buy a nightly rate if you can help it. Always go with monthly or weekly. And I'll give you the um, story of, we were both staying at a Jellystone in Texas and they got the monthly rate and I was staying something like 10 days. And they ended up spending only $100 more than me, same campsite, they got to spend an entire month, I got to spend 10 days. So they spent almost 20, almost three more weeks than me um, enjoying the campground and only spent a hundred more dollars. And this is something that they always attest to. Also, it saves on gas, things like that. Um, so their tip, slow down, it's wonderful. Um, and the last one is something that I literally just learned about. I'm taking this course. Um, this is a picture of the course. Actually, whoa, uh, Julie and Sean are part of it. I won't mess it up anymore because it's going backwards. <laughs> But it's called, uh, what is it called? Sorry. It's from Wallet Win. I don't want to get the name of the course wrong. Oh, how to save money while traveling. Done. So Julie and Sean were experts there. But they also, I also learned from them to use a VPN. And that's called a virtual private network. So when you search things on Google, et cetera, um, it's now legal for them to track your cookies, track all your data, see where you're coming from. But apparently, if you live in different types of different parts of the world, it can be cheaper. So if you had a VPN that kind of basically it says you're in, let's say it says you're in Australia instead of being in California, so it's going to show you a different price, and so you can save money that way. Um, I let me just pull this up. So they did in this course called How to Save Money While Traveling, Make and Save Money. They did a side-by-side -side here, and I think they were in Australia or something, I can't remember, um, where they showed the different rates. And as you can see, this person is saving, um, what, almost $200, and um, they said they did it for their honeymoon, and I think this was over $2,000 um, using a virtual private network. Of course, this is probably not, um, you know, applicable, applicable as much for campgrounds, but if you're going to do those vacations as a full-time RVer, or you're not full-time yet, and you just take one-offs here and there, this is a great tweak you can make to your travel plans to really save you money. And there are a couple different options. In the course, they talk about um, an op it's a Chrome extension that you can download onto your um, server, or I'm sorry, search engine, and um, it's called Opera, or there's another one um, called Tunnel Bear, and those are really both great options. Um, hey, Terry. Hey, Unknown Normal. Terry says you look like you're on an international space station. <laughs> um, just an RV, and um, so those are my tips for the week, or I'm sorry, for the day. Yeah, we're doing this every single day, you guys. It's going to be so much fun. It looks like we have quite a bit of people watching. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. Um, remember, it's going to be every day at 1230. Also, if you'd rather watch it on YouTube, I'm going to be posting these recordings at 7 p.m. on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tip. Um, tomorrow, we have got day two shopaholic tips for buying your first, your second, or your 18th RV. I'll blow that up for you. And that is just going to be super fun talking about RV shopping. It's one of my favorite hobbies. I like to go RV window shopping. I'm sure you do too. I'm going to be bringing you some tips. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And thanks for all those resources that helped me bring this to you guys. I will see you tomorrow.